Hey, what's up? So here's my list of main arcade games. I have the earliest memories of that helped lay the foundation of my love for gaming. Not all of these will be on everyone's top 10, but I have fond memories of these, and thank you for sharing these memories with me. Okay, at number 10, we have WrestleFest. For us, we never had a set arcade. Arcades for us was a skating rink, laundry mats, and gas stations with a few arcade games. I became a wrestling fan from the first match I've seen on TV and grew up with it into today. This title in particular was one we had in the Tahlequah Skating Rink. In my seven or eight year old eye when I saw this game, I was amazed by what I saw. And every time I played, I always had to pick my boys, the Million Dollar Man and Mr. Perfect. While my friends were pretending to be Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior, I'd be running at them, smacking them with a cardboard made million dollar belt. At number nine, we have a Tekken 2. Another game at our local gas station was this. Three fighting games wasn't really new by this point, but most were slow and kind of clunky. My first experience with this game was when my family took a vacation and made a stop at a fun spot in Arkansas. I'm walking around my one dollar and quarters looking for something to play and I see this. In comparison to other three fighting games, I was amazed by the speed and fluidity it was running. Fast forward to today and this is still my favorite in the Tekken series. My main still doesn't get as much love as she deserves Miss Jun Kazama. I think she is selectable in Tekken 8 but only usable in Tekken 2 and Tech. But don't sleep on her, she is very dangerous. Next we have Cruising USA, and what else has to be said about this? When this game came out, it was the closest thing to jumping to a car as you can get. 3D graphics, bumping into other cars, jumping over hills, and best, you can control your radio station. I mean, you couldn't do that with any game at this point, and still to today, I play, and I think it's just fun as hell. Next we have Carnival. For some it was Time Crisis or Terminator 2. For me it was Carnival. Growing up I remember playing this at our local gas station that had a little arcade area. After school we would go bum our parents for 5 or $10 and we would spend the rest of the afternoon there. I played lot of games before this one but they never just drew my attention. Maybe it was the Christmas stage, maybe it was the pump action pistol that we use. That's probably why I'm into sentence right now to strangely match that time. But anyways, play this game if you haven't yet. It's fun as hell and you will not regret it. Next we have X-Men. X-Men was the thing when it came out. Comics, action figures, playing X-Men on the playground, on recess at school. It was everywhere. Even the t anime TV show. The arcade, however, was not based on the TV show as some would think. It's actually based on the pilot episode, Pride of the X-Men Animation in 1989, which was canceled. And honestly, I, I think it was a good thing that I just watched that, it was not that great, but you can obviously see all the characters, even Dazzler, so now I know where Dazzler came from. But after that, I laid down the groundwork for the animated series. Um, anyways, this is at our skating ring. If you were first in line, you were not going to get a chance to play it. Anyways, not much to say. I know y'all know this game, y'all love it, and it still holds to this day. Next we have Miss Pac-Man. Now Miss Pac-Man brings the earliest memories of arcade for me. As I think it may have been the first one I can remember playing, and I was just barely out of diapers. I may have still been in diapers, <laughs> but I remember just being at a local laundromat. Uh, today is still a personal preference of mine to play. I may play it once a week or twice a week, see how far you can get. Plus, anyways, you know, Miss Pac-Man, I can't say no to that boo.
Paperboy. How can you not enjoy this game? It's a Roger Bot throwing newspapers at people's houses, cars, break dancers, and bus windows. The appeal of this game is the arcade unit has a bicycle handlebars. Homeport versions just wasn't the same experience without the handlebars. Home versions were meh, but the arcade was the real fun. If you ever come across the arcade version, give it a shot if you haven't yet. Pit Fighter. Now I know this one was a shock to you, this game gets a lot of flax, but bear with me here. Before Mortal Kombat there was Pit Fighter. This was a quarter munching machine. This game gets a lot of flack, but before Mortal Kombat in 1992 there was Pit Fighter in 1990, and it was awesome. You get two of your friends with you, or some randoms you can find in the arcade, and get yourself inducted into the underground fight club. Here remember, virtual fight club, you don't talk about it. But you get to be thrown into the crowd, crowd comes in, tries to stab you. I mean, it was a lot of fun back then. And don't compare this to the home ports. Home ports, if anything, is not as good as the arcade. But give it a revisit, you might find yourself liking it again. Street Fighter 2, you notice it's going to be on the list somewhere. Street Fighter 2, which fight game is more iconic than this. If you are a fight fan, you could thank this game for being the biggest influence of the fight genre. I remember when this game hit home consoles, this was the only thing for Christmas that I wanted. This game can still hold its own today, which are still tournaments being held using the Championship Edition, which is my favorite of all of them. Watching the fence drop down to Vegas scene and climbing it just to fly at you. I mean, that was awesome back then. Still awesome today. Last and not least, we got Double Dragon, the original arcade game. This classic beat'em up is still my favorite, even in the, with the god awful slowdowns that happened with two players. With two player is the only way to go. Back then in 87, when this game was out, you never noticed a slowdown or really cared. This was an elite game back in 87, there was nothing like it at the time. Looking back on it now, it's easy to judge, bash it, and compare it to later titles. But 87, you know, this was it. It was a great game, and you never regret playing it. I still go back and play this game from time to time, and actually I want to go back and play it again after this video. And I'm not going to use the Evil Exploit. Might as well put in Cheat Coast. Play without the Evil Exploit, and you're going to have a blast. Hey, okay, and those are my top 10 for arcade games that bring back great memories. Your top 10 will be different from mine. Anyways, you have a great day, and I appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend it with me. Like, subscribe, share, you know the deal. Anyways, you enjoy the rest of your day.